fine. All right. Thank you. Daily grind. I tell you, you guys definitely gotta try this, you guys. Pouring or transferring your daily grind into a nice fancy Yeti tumbler here. It makes it last so much longer. I can go a full day in the Yeti and have it nice and warm still, where this, 20 minutes, 45 minutes tops, and it's super cold. Yeah, get one of these guys. All right guys, welcome back to the vlog, and we are back in Canada, back in 4K. So I'm trying a new setup, you guys. I uh, changed the setting in the camera now, and it's, uh, it's 4K, hopefully it works out. Uh, I have a really old computer, so I don't know how this is going to work. If it does, if you guys see this, uh, it's in 4K. It's obviously worked. But anyways, uh, it's freaking cold, you guys. Going from, uh, going from LA to uh, Canada, going from 20 to minus, hovering above minus 5 Celsius right now. It, it's, 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 it's cold, you guys, and uh, it's going to get even worse. But um, yeah, if you haven't checked out my... Uh, LA vlog, uh, go check it out. I'll put the uh, link in the uh, corner here. Uh, go check it out, you guys. It's just a fantastic experience. Um, highly recommend going and seeing King James uh, in person if you ever uh, get a chance to. But uh, let's get the vlog started and uh, let's go. All right, so a couple weeks ago, uh, so I decided to park my car because the battery is dead and I posted the vlog uh, with the Injector Dynamics uh, fuel filter. Uh, we're still waiting on that because um, I'm waiting for a bracket to be made still. And uh, I know T1 Racing makes a bracket for it, but the only problem is it's, it's, it's for the driver's side and the AMS uh, oil air separator is on that side and they don't make it for the passenger side. So we're going to have to make it on our own. And luckily we have a local fabricator. Uh, he's going to do it for us. But um, with that said, one of our viewers, Patrick, has reached out to me and said, can we make a video on removing the battery? Even though I know it's pretty simple, but uh, I watch a couple other vloggers and they're missing a couple of steps and I'm kind of OCD with my car and they kind of cheat and they kind of, I'll, I'll explain more once we get into the vlog and uh, we'll get into it. So all you need is basically a 10 mil and a clip popper or a, um, it's like a plastic rivet push rivets that uh, hold the panel in, that's all you need. So the battery is under this compartment, battery. So I don't know how it is on the Japanese or the European ones, but on the North American ones, it's on the passenger side. So you're gonna remove the two, take the panel off. And then we're gonna start removing all the push rivets. There should be one, two, three, four, five. And uh, we're gonna do that, remove that first. So once we remove the push rivets, the plastic cover should come right out. Just put it aside here. A lot of guys will tell you to remove this trim here, but I don't like to remove the trim because they're held on by little clips uh, right down there. And you'll actually, if you remove them too many times, you end up uh, breaking it. So after that, here's the part where a lot of guys skip. They'll start trying to take the battery out right away, like by removing the terminals here with the 10 mil and a 10 mil here and they'll just force it out of here but the best way or the, I think the, the right way to do it is you're going to continue removing this panel here this cowl here uh, I'll show you how to do that right now so to get access to this panel here or the cowl there's one rivet here one rivet here and then there's a, another one right there and once you get that done you just slide back because it, it basically slides into this, uh, the windshield here. So you slide it out and it'll come right out. You gotta make sure there's clearance here. There you go, and you slide it this way. Might just put this all together again, like that. And move this way. And there you go. Pretty simple, you guys. And then it's, uh, now you have access to your 10 mil here, here, here and your positive terminal, and this will come right out. And then you don't have to worry about fishing um, 
screw the hook back here to hook into the um, cradle, battery, battery cradle. That's easy, it's just the easiest step. And a lot of people just don't, uh, they try to cheat and then they try to force it out. But yeah, let's uh, grab the battery and let's bring it out. So once you remove the terminals, you may want to, uh, well, you should cover the uh, positive so it doesn't ground out or, yeah, or the negative too. Once they're uh, there, you want to take the cradle out, remove the 10 mils. And once it's released, you come out. And you see how it's hooked in from behind there, right here, right down here. See a lot of guys, if this cowl is in the way, you can't actually see access to that. And it kind of makes the install, a really simple install, a lot harder. All right guys, so this is what the uh, bracket looks like when it's out of the car. Uh, so it's pretty much a couple of hooks. The long one goes to the front of the car and the short one goes to the back and this, it just hooks on. Just like that. There you go. So that's what it looks like out of the car. Yeah. Damn, it's all heavy, you guys. Oh. Oh. All right, guys, so that's out of the battery. This little sucker is 35 pounds, you guys. Roughly 35 pounds. Super, uh, super heavy, when you think of it, for such a small battery. Uh, yeah, I know you guys are laughing, Toyota and uh, Nissan. But uh, anyways, so <laughs> the battery group is a 51R. So if you guys want to replace your battery, you need a 51R. With that said, I am planning on replacing this battery with a lithium battery. So check the vlog out, you guys, in a couple of weeks. Uh, I won't tell you guys what the battery is yet. So uh, make sure you go come back and check it out, you guys. Lithium battery over the uh, acid. Apparently it's like massive weight di difference, you guys, but that's for another vlog. So don't forget to come back. All right, so the, now that the battery's out of the car, I'm just gonna show you guys how to uh, how it's orientated. So down here, it hooks onto like the cradle like that. And in the front one, it hooks in pretty much like that. So there you go. That's how it's gonna go like that. Or you could do it the other way too, where this one, if you're worrying about the hook here, marring up the battery, and it'll go like that, just like that. And then you tighten it down. It's a little harder to put this bracket back in if this panel is in the way. So that's why I recommend removing it. All right, so battery's back in, but man, I tell you, it took me like at least a good five minutes, even with the cow out, to uh, line up the uh, hooks. So I did face the, um, I guess the, the body of the hook uh, inward so it doesn't mar up the battery. And I did the same thing on this side too. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but right down there. Kind of a, kind of a couple of neat things. You can actually look at the cabin air filter in here and it's uh, pretty exposed, but uh, you can kind of see it's time for a change for mine. So that'll be uh, coming up soon, maybe in the next vlog. Once everything is in and the battery's back in, uh, just put everything else in reverse order, you guys. It's actually pretty heavy to bring out of the, uh, the, the car, but it was so much easier once I took, it was just three little clips and that, uh, that panel just came right out, you guys. And that's the actual proper way to uh, replace this battery. So pretty simple vlog, you guys. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and actually learned a little more. And uh, instead of forcing it out, you know, you're gonna break some clips or break some panels. And that's just not the way you wanna go with your, improving the, uh, the car or just doing some maintenance on it, right? So if you guys are enjoying the vlog and you guys found it helpful, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button, you guys, and hit that like button. And uh, leave a comment below if you guys like in the vlogs. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next week's vlog. Uh, it's gonna be a special one, you guys. See you guys then. See ya.